all on a journey of today i will take you all on a journey of mathematician a transformational approach so before starting my presentation i would like to watch a video of my student I think it's not playing. Okay, it's giving some problem. That's okay. Okay, there are a lot of uh, requests are coming. Admit. I will try once more. Otherwise, I'll move on. Yeah, that's okay. Try it yeah. once more. Yeah. Yes. I think it's working now. Don't yes, worry. I think it's working. Let me share the sound. Yeah, and you don't worry, we will get the people in. You just focus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Can you hear the sound, everyone? You are yes. our yes. math magician. Is it audible? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Please introduce yourself, Shubham. Hi, everyone. My name is Shubham. I study in class four. I live in Durgapur. And today I will multiply. 999 by three digit number mentally yes shubham so here goes your first question 238 multiply by 999 the answer is 2 lakh 37762 Second question, 461 multiply by 999. The answer is 4,60,539. Third question, Shubham, 570 multiply by 999. The answer is Five lakh sixty nine thousand four hundred thirty. Very good. For, last question for you, Shubham. One hundred seventy two multiply by nine hundred ninety nine. The answer is one lakh seventy one thousand eight hundred twenty eight. And very good. So our math magician Shubham has. Yes. So uh, this is how our uh, kids are. Is the screen visible to everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is uh, this was just a glimpse how we are conducting uh, these math magician events, and uh, before these events, uh, we are providing training to our students. So uh, this is our Vedic maths initiative that we are taking various Vedic maths uh, techniques, simplifying it and taking it to mental maths further. Now, uh, here is uh, Professor Munjal from IISC Bangalore. It is one of the most renowned institute uh, in India. It's located in Bangalore. And I would like to read the last paragraph what he has written in one of his presentations. My father who was otherwise uneducated was good at mental arith arithmetic. He had memorized multiplication tables up to 20 into 20 and was able to earn his living by doing quick back of the hand calculations for the village farmers and shopkeepers in their day to day business. So basically, this was during the time you can say uh, around, you know, 49, 50s when India just got independent. That inspired me during my early education to excel in arithmetic and eventually theory of numbers, algebra, trigonometry, <laughs> mathematical induction, etc. In fact, it became fun and led to the development of magical tables, binomial theorems, etc. So the purpose of reading uh, this paragraph is that even an uneducated person can, be, can do mental arithmetic. So uh, we at Callan Cubes focus on uh, three main pillars apart from maths as numbers, 
one is mindset so first we have to develop a positive mindset then obviously the memory skills he should have a good memory or and it should he should be strive to you know uh, uh, get excellence in memory and controlling emotions a child should never get negative emotions while he is playing with numbers or doing any calculation with numbers now how we are achieving all this we are achieving all this through various affirmations so while our teaching program we provide constant affirmations statements to kids like maths is magical so we always uh, in front of the kid we always show him that maths is magical and everything is possible with maths second maths is easy means any maths is all about problem solving it is not a problem itself so that's why when you are applying maths or playing with numbers you are into solving a problem and that's make the whole approach as maths as easy then obviously you can do it there are a few kids who come to us and they say it's very difficult so by constantly promoting promoting you can do it it gets into the child's brain and then we transform them into a math magician and then we conduct these kinds of events so today i request all of you to become a school child and let's start a magical journey with me and let's see can we all become math magicians so grab your paper and pencil and i would request you all to do small calculations with me so i have taken uh, subtraction as a topic so what i am uh, what we are trying to do is here i will give you a set of problem and then we will define a rule and we'll say based on that can we all do mental mathematics or not so here coming uh, set one uh, set one of problems for you so i would request these are very very simple problems please please solve it or you can write answer in chat also once you are done you can type in chat okay so i started getting answers yes this is 19 uh, let me change the ink uh, sorry color yes this is 19 this is 26 or oh, 7 27 yes 7 yes 27 <laughs> and last number is oh, sorry okay Yeah. Let me start annotating. Yes, let me start annotating. Yes, the last answer is last answer is thirty five. Yes. So with this, I will move on to the next uh, next slide. Let me clear it. Yes. So I'll move to the next slide. Yes. So now. another set of question is coming which are very very super simple uh, it is not turning yes so i request you all to please try this Yes, so I'm getting answers twenty nine, seventy nine, and fifty nine. Okay, let me just just write. So this is twenty nine, seventy nine, and fifty nine. Quite quick, everyone. Thanks for all the support you are giving me. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. so what we are observing here we are observing two kinds of patterns here once 
in the tens place we have to reduce by one so if i just write the answer for this sample problem it will be 3 and okay it's not what i think yes and the unit place difference is 1 like 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have to take the complement of 1 that is 9 i will just show you so what i am doing i am taking subtracting 2 minus 1 so i am doing a reverse kind of subtraction i am getting answer 1 i am taking complement of this 1 and 9 i am writing here so i am getting a 39 answer this is how uh, we were getting the previous answers like 29 79 and 59 so just by looking at number we have to follow two rules one is reduce the tens digit by one number and the difference of the unit place is one so complement of one nine will come in the unit place now after defining these two rules we will just proceed to the so we will just proceed to the next that is math magician so i would now request please don't use pen and paper and directly write the answer yes so i am started getting answers very good yes so it's like 39 29 and again 39 Excellent, excellent, all of you. Okay, so now let me take a feedback. After doing this exercise, are you feeling that by the third worksheet, you could do it mentally? Any feedbacks? Yeah. I think Jyoti, everybody is Vedic math practitioner here. So everybody would say yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So we have a group of, it's, yeah. <clears throat> yes, so let me just do it. So this is how we give math magician challenge to our kids and then we uh, uh, motivate them to perform it in a public platform. So I have seen over a period of time that this has reduced the stress, anxiety and fear which kids get towards numbers. So this is uh, one of the approach which I have demonstrated uh, for uh, uh, for our uh, mathematician efforts which we are taking so thank you so much your suggestions are welcome <laughs>